guys welcome to another edition to the ldw series i'm your host george harris king so guys on our last episode literally our longest episode throughout the series um i've talked about like new changes where we go with ldw from here um i've still been like trying to decide on if this is our last season um i'm also thinking about if we will stretch it out to a fifth season or a sixth season or anything in the future anything's a possibility another thing to talk that i've talked about in the last one um the future with the divisions so the heavyweight title and the trios titles um i'm trying to build up to only heavyweights face heavyweights only heavyweights tech go for the heavyweight belts only juniors go for the junior belts the only championship that's exclusive to everybody is the trios belt that's what i'm trying to push for and i'm trying to like be more established on you can almost say a sports level you know um some people are going to be bigger some people are going to be smaller so that rule's not fully in place yet that's something that i want okay that's that's something i want by the time we um make it to a certain point we're only going to have it like that but right now the tag team of pentagon jr and tessa they're allowed to challenge for the heavyweight tag titles if they want to even though that's not supporting what i want completely that's no big deal um really i want truly that tag team is great but i'm pushing for pentagon to be a singles competitor completely and Tessa to just go into the junior division, which could ha which can definitely happen. Um, they've already made their mark together through their rivalry in the first season, and they also made their mark as a tag team. They won the tag belts, so I feel like they're kind of over at this point. I kind of, and I mean it. I'm pushing for this junior heavyweight division, and and just exclusively juniors, and then there's heavyweights. Okay, so what I'm about to go ahead and do right now, scholars are okay whatever now you're gonna say nothing about them I'm gonna offer a contract course um, we'll go to North America try to sign somebody I guess showman uh, she might get signed that'd be something we don't need look I want this guy right here he's big he'd be cool um but he's strong style. Look at that. Carl Henry would be good. We're C in um, Mexico and we're A in America. He'd be a good sign. And we really need to we need to build up the juniors and the heavyweight division. No exceptions to anybody. He's a good sign too. This guy he competed on the first season. He needs to make some more money. So, hmm. Let's try to sign this guy. You know, this guy could say no, but I, I'm interested in getting this guy in here. Hey, we got another heavyweight. Cool. Um, one thing I didn't do last time, we got to work on the stables. So Gilbert, he's in the evil division. Michael, he can go to the good. Um... We gotta move some people around. Adam and Paige is more of good now. He's he's turned babyface. Um, let's see here. Okay. Jamie, she's like people cheer for her for like crazy, but she's still well. Her and Elgin. Can I, can I do a double? Okay. Her and Elgin are more of the babyface division now. Yeah, yeah, all these other guys are definitely like heels now. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's kind of weird how the leader of that, of the trio's champions, you got two heels and one baby face. That's, that's something that's going to cause some issues at some point. But today, if you watched our last episode, I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. Today we're going to crown our junior heavyweight tag champs, Tessa Blanchard and... Oh, Beretta. Tessa Blanchard and Beretta face off against the tag team of Jeff Bryan and Adam Davis. That caught me off guard that Ricochet and Sick Nick could not defeat them, um, but that chokehold was put on 
uh, sick Nick and ended the match. Um, I didn't even do the I usually start off with the evaluation of last show. Um, and I kind of did, but I just kind of got sidetracked, I guess. So, uh, we held the, the tournament for the junior tag belts. And here's the conclusion today. Then Jamie, no, Jamie Wilson, we, we talked about it more than once last season, how Jamie, she will definitely get another world title opportunity after that match with Stanley Adams and how she got, kept going on a winning streak in singles competition. And she finally got it. I'm not going to lie. She almost had Adam Page. She took advantage of him, but he still picked up that win. And I was talking about it during the match. Like, this guy, he can get his butt whooped so bad and still come out winning in the end. It's That's how special Adam Page is to the LDW. But today, see, we got a new guy. Uh, creative de decisions on his name, Michael Wilson. He'll be He'll be interesting to work with. Well, I'll figure something out with him. I'll definitely figure something out with him. Hmm. Anyways, I think yeah, that's why our expenses are are so high already. Um. How's everybody doing? He's good. Good. How are you guys doing? All right. Oof. Like I knew it. Those legs were gonna be something was gonna be damaged after that match with a. Uh, um, Davy Carlos last show. I knew he was gonna be damaged. I was I was expecting that crap. He's good. His legs are healing up. He's in good. He's good, but his neck is all jacked up. But he's going into that title match today. Charlie Arai. He's okay. You know. Michael Wilson. He needs a debut match. Adam Page. I'm debating on if I'm gonna put Adam Page in action today. Michael Elgin. I'm trying to remember what was I gonna do with Michael Elgin? Oh, I, yeah, I know who, who I know who I can give him. Jamie's gonna need an opponent too. Yeah, Jamie's gonna need an opponent, but she's okay. It looks like everybody's still good. Oh wait, <laughs> too bad, kid. <laughs> too bad that you're in poor condition and you got a title match. If Jeff Bryan has to like you know, basically hold down the team, he can do it. And he could be our first, you know, triple belt champ. That would be pretty awesome for him. But yeah, everybody's looking pretty good. Things can work out. Let's go ahead and get to it. Um, let's see, book the event. No, we don't need to do no invitations. We're not allowed, okay. Note to self: No death matches throughout the whole season. That's on one of our sponsors. Let me see which one said that. Management sponsor contracts. Someone said it. Oh, right there. May not hold a death match. We are not allowed by our main sponsor. They say no death matches, which sucks. But hey, we have a better show off of regular matches, so. That's cool. Um, let's go to the event. We had a seven match show last time. Might do the same thing again here. I go to the small hall. Excuse me for yawning. Um, let me see. Um... Hmm. We could start off with a big match. Just to make them look strong. Because acknowledge that they're still the tag champs. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. This Michael Wilson guy needs a match. He can face. Surely he can face Pentagon. Baron Charles. I might give Baron the night off because them legs are jacked up. Good job for the win. Gonna need some time off though. I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it now. 
right, so Michael Wilson will make his debut match against Pentagon Jr. Okay. Hmm. Davy Carlos will need a match. Oh, I already have one for him. We're good. Um, hmm, this might be a five match show now I think about it. Because I have an idea for tag team matches today. So, this duo is forming after their match last show. Gilbert Howard and... Yeah, Gilbert Howard and um, Will Stewart. They're tag teaming now. They're going to face off against Adam Page. And Davey Carlos. Pretty big um, mill match there. Didn't I say that Michael Elgin and Jamie need a match? Hmm. Now think about it. Ricochet and Nick Mondo near match too. Hmm. We don't want to have too many tag team matches. Tessa needs a match, doesn't she? Yeah, a lot of people need a match. I don't even know why I'm like shortening it down like this one moment so let's see Tessa we need to crown some number one contenders so Tessa Blanchard or Owen Miller Tessa Oh, wait, no, 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 she's in a championship match. That's right. Man, come on, George, think. Um, man, Baron's off. We're definitely not going to create a big, big, big show. Um, yeah, they're in the main event. Owen Miller, Charlie Arai. I'm so big on this whole... This whole thing with the um, divisions. So we can just have a junior match. So Ricochet can face off against Charlie Arai. Mm, or face off against Owen Miller for the first time. That should be something cool. Um, then we'll do the tag match here where they team up together for the first time. Will Stewart and Gilbert Howard facing off against two out of the three trios champions. Um, Adam Page and Davey Carlos, wherever Davey is at. Mm. Then it's going to be, you know what, let's have, because I don't want the junior heavyweight title match to be the main event. That's going to be, in my opinion, a, a pretty dull match. I'm going to have not the most exciting characters walking into it. So, I think Sick Nick should defend his belt against Charlie Rye in the main event. That should be something entertaining. It's a challenge match, so... There's that. Um, <laughs> for the delight of the fans, for the first time, we will have Jamie Wilson versus Michael Elgin. For the first time ever. Okay. 
This is for entertainment purposes and to build up our card today. What? Okay. Um. Okay. Abdullah the Butcher can face. Alright, no, he's wearing the black lately. I'll answer that text in a moment. Stanley Adams. This is a number contenders match for the world title. The world title match will actually happen at Mexico on our... <sighs> no. Yeah, we're going back to Mexico this season. I think that match should happen. We're going to have our first climax show in Mexico. Um, next show, we will have the trios titles on the line. That's something I was going to disclose later on. But I'm going to call it now. The trios titles will be on the line next show. Um, I've got an idea with that, but Abdullah and Stanley, they're going to go at it to be known contenders. And then we're going to spend two episodes in Mexico for the trios belt. And then we're going to have another show. I think this is episode two, and that's number three. Number three, number four. Okay, I'm not doing the correct math. So basically, trios belts. So, okay, I got that wrong. So on our fourth episode, as we're in Mexico, we're going to have the, the, um, we're going to have, excuse me, the, hmm, I just don't, I want to wait till we're our climax show or something. I'll figure it out, guys. But let's focus on this. Let's see, got championship match. Jeff Bryan and Adam Davis facing off against what Tessa Blanchard she's in the blue as Beretta is in the blue as well Tessa and Beretta for the titles and then our main event for the LDW Junior Heavyweight Belt, Charlie Arai faces off against Sick Nick Model. We haven't seen Sick Nick defend that belt in a minute. So, they might not even let me put this on him, but no big deal. We haven't seen him defend that belt in a minute, so. Yeah, um, oh, I'm slow. Right there. And then there you go. This match right here, you could almost say that this is the um, no one contenders match. Hmm. Matter of fact, I got an idea. Since this is gonna be a no, we're gonna crown. Like I said, we're gonna have to crown some normal contenders today. So, hmm. You know what? We could just get it done off the bat. This will be the no one contenders for the uh, DFW Junior Heavyweight Belt. Facing off against Owen Miller for the first time. So we got two big title matches. We're not going to the small hall anymore. We're in the medium. I knew we were going to sell out. Because they love they love us now. They love us. We're growing. Oh, now I got to do match rules and stuff now. Alright, that's good. That's good. Hmm... This match is no big deal, but oh, it already has team there. That's good. 45 minutes. I feel like this should be right here instead of that, because that's this isn't a this isn't a number one contenders match. It's just a simple match, you know. It's, let's see. Let's just fix it real quick. Will Stewart. Gilbert Howard versus Adam Page and Davy Carlos. And then there's 
Ricochet, as I've done this enough times now against Owen Miller. Now we gotta fix the match rules. This is good. Teams. 30 minutes. Because that match is not a big deal. No one cares about it. Team. No more contenders match for the world title. Alright. That's teamed. Oh. Fix this. You gotta fix the other one too. And make this a hardcore match. Off, off. Let me see. And then our main event of the evening. The belt is on the line. We're gonna have a lot of matches. So we can we haven't had this in a while. A two out of three falls main event. So there we go. Hmm. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. We are good. Michael Wilson makes his debut. We haven't seen him since the first season. Coming back, and he's finally signed. Just like Stanley Adams, out he was he came through on the first season, and then got signed on our third season. So that's pretty cool. How things come full circle like that. All right, tiles are on the line. One last check. We're good. 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 All right, we're cool. Everything's full house, and we're good. Confirm. Okay, again, 500,000 something. Um, just making sure one more time, make sure this is good. Train center's all good, no problems there. I don't care about the contracts at the moment. Alright, there we go. Let's proceed to the show. Get some LDW action, guys. Ooh, welcome everybody to Lions Den Wrestling. I'm your host, George Harris King. Please welcome back. He visited on the first season. Now he is signed to LDW. This is Type AB Michael Wilson, guys. Michael Wilson. Fantastic powerhouse wrestler. Reminds me of Tyson Tomko. And he's got a big challenge up ahead of him. As we got the Lucha Ninja El Cerro Miedo, the former LDW heavyweight tag champ, Pentagon Jr. Very big challenge for this man here. Let's hope for the best for the newcomer Michael Wilson in this match. All right, referee rings the bell. Like Mike Armstrong, nice attack to the arm there. Nice belly to belly from Pentagon. Already overpowering him there. Back to the arms of Michael Wilson here. Now, just really going in on those arms. Now, Pentagon, he has a reputation. Pitfall does not get a one. Okay. So, one thing about Pentagon. Excuse me. Pentagon has a history of attacking his opponent's arms. It'd be a, and, he, and he also... Ironically, he had his arm broken um, on our last season. And why I say it's ironic, if you remember his Lucha Underground pass, he's 
He's known for breaking people's arms as his gimmick. Um, that was him showing zero fear over basically the lives of other people. And it looks like that's what he's bringing back here in LDW. Oh my goodness. It was ironic last season because he had his arm broken by Davey Carlos, but he came back and beat the living crap out of Davey and pick up the win at Lions Roar 3. And last show, Pentagon did not pick up the win over. Okay, get out of that. That managed to pick up the win. Oh, I forgot the opponent. I think it was Baron Charles last show. No, it wasn't. Who was his opponent? Oh, snap. I can't remember his opponent last show. <laughs> but I know Pentagon did not win. I could probably just rewatch the show or whatever. But real quick, as I'm watching this match, I'm going to go back in the history books for Michael Wilson's match. Oof, kicks him off. Now, if we go back in the history books, Pentagon Jr. and Michael Wilson actually competed on our second episode of LDW. So this is basically like a rematch between these two. But let me see something. And it looks like Pentagon picked up the win the last time these two met. And now here they are again. Let's see if Michael Wilson can pick up, the, pick up a win over Pentagon here to get redemption and also pick up his first win here in LDW. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, a tombstone from the top rope. I've never seen that from Pentagon. Pentagon is just becoming more ruthless these days. That Breaking that arm... That broken arm definitely lit a fire in him. Oh my god, burning hammer to Michael Wilson. One, two. Oh, he almost had him. Lariat there. Pinfall, one, two. All right, kick out there. Truly, this has got to be a lot of fire behind Pentagon because he lost last show. He has he's had his arm broken recently. You no, know that man is upset. Oh, he lost to Stanley Adams last show. Okay. Oh, package pile driver, guys. This is that lariat. DDT. Not Wilson going up. Oh, drops that fist. All right, to the gut of Pentagon Jr. Listen to the fans praising this match. As I'm up, oh, powerbomb drops him around right the back of his neck. Throws him in. Here comes Wilson. Oh, headbutt. A bonk right there. And it's Pentagon. He, he may have gotten knocked silly, or maybe he's talking to his master Vampiro. Now going for the arm there. Drags him. Wilson. Oh, oh my goodness. That German suplex has made a Pentagon fly right side of the ring. Suplex here. And drops Wilson down. Oh, throws him right into the apron. Lariat there. Oh my goodness. Blue Thunderbomb on the outside of the ring. These two men meet right back in. They're going at it. Listen to the fans. They're listen to the uproar between these two. Throws up the axe. Oh! And here comes Wilson. Oh, Discus Lariat. He's exhausted. Choke slam. Oof, we need to the gut there. Over to the back. Now what? Throws them in. DDT. Drags them. 
calling out to the voices in his head. Chokeslam the Pentagon again. Russian leg sweep there. Neckbreaker. Drags him. Ooh, elbow to the back. Receiving the fans' praise. Package pile driver! And these two men are exhausted. What a fantastic match, guys. Strength of Wilson. Those are men. Oh my god. Powerbomb into the turnbuckle pad. That may have knocked the Pentagon out cold. He's not done. Here comes Wilson. Oh, elbow to the back. And now another package pile driver gets all of it. Oh, on Wilson. Let's see who stands. They both stand up. They're both rocked or exhausted. Belly to belly. But did that take all the energy out of Pentagon? If I were Pentagon, if I did that move again, I'd just, just drop down, just fall backwards and land right on top of Wilson. And do it right now. Pin him. Pin him. This is the Lariat. And now a chokehold being applied to Pentagon. Will he tap out? He does not. He stays in. Oh, Lariat there. Oh. Miscommunication there. Results in the head bonk. Throws him in. Oh, Lariat. That just caught me off guard. Now Wilson catching his breath. Blue Thunder Bomb right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. Pentagon Jr. defeats Michael Wilson once again in his debut. Congratulations to Pentagon Jr. Picking up some momentum here tonight. Michael Wilson, here's your official welcome to LDW. Great match, great match, guys. Moving on. All right, here we go. And there they are, the new duo. They call themselves Satan's Army. Gilbert and Will, Gilbert Howard and Will Stewart, they faced off last week. Gilbert defeated Will Stewart. Will Stewart has been already been making a pre, he's been causing some attention towards himself since what Lions War 3. Gilbert viciously defeated him last show. But definitely going to be a very interesting tag team being added to the LDW tag team division. And now here are two-thirds of the trio's champions, Davey Carlos and Adam Page. Adam Page is still your world champion, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Adam Page last week on the win. Um, we haven't seen Davey and Adam just tag team in regular tag team competitions. So should, this should be a very interesting match. Here we go, guys. Nice level there. Oh, is he already opened up? Oh my goodness. Those cuts really need to be rested, just taken care of. That He's opened up once again, guys. My goodness. What in the world? We really, like, he needs some stitches. He needs everything. But he's still going in. He's going in on the world champ. Slash Trio's Champ as well. Elbow there. Scoop slams him out. Look at the blood just ending up everywhere. Come on, Stuart. Stay in it. One thing to say, this guy, he does a little bit of blood. Does not face him at all. Pinfall. One. Oh, kick out there. I'm trying to figure out, like, what. Maybe it was the overhand punch open, reopened those wounds back up. This man should have put more Vaseline on before this match or something. 
And then an elbow right into that open cut again. And now, oh, a double drop kick there. Throws him in. Oh, Gilbert just kicks both of them off. Scoop slam to the champ. And now Carlos taking advantage. Has him by the head. Oh, knee to the gut. Now going for the knees. Misses the lariat. Who misses that leg lock and misses again. You were just looking at him. Over to the back. I'll answer that later. Now going in. Davy drags him. Now leg lock there. Takes him off. Tag in Will Stewart. Hangman Page tagged in. DDT. Oh my goodness. Davy going in on Gilbert. Shooting start. Oh, one, two. Oh, almost had Stewart there. Elbows to the back of the head. Deadlifting German. This is what won his world title match last week. One, two. Oh, almost had him. Can't expect a former amateur wrestling Olympian Will Stewart to lose from a German suplex like that. But very impressively done. Um, break up there. Throws him in. Double teaming Hangman, Hangman Page now. Knee to the gut. As, um, oh, scoop slam there. And now the double on the hook. What's he going for? Oh, and Paige avoided whatever that was going to be. You got to worry about whenever someone goes for a double on the hook move. Could be a power bomb, a pile driver, or just flips them up and just drops them like that. Anything could happen in that position. Or even a pedigree as well. But they're going in on Gilbert here. You can see Gilbert is the, is the ultimate alpha on the, this tag team right now. Has Davey by the head. Oh, knees Davey right in the forehead. Oh, knee to the gut. And now illegal punches. Referee, please just, just pull him off. Grab him by the waist and pull him off. What in the world? That's what I'm saying. Davey Carlos has to be the most dangerous man here in LDW. My God, he's gonna give somebody a concussion with that. Oh my God! Now a guillotine choke. Here comes Stewart to break it up. Stewart breaks it up. Now I don't know what Stewart's doing. Oh, that's what he's doing. Now a chokehold here, and Gilbert saves his tag partner. Now the oh. The, Punches there and opens up Davy Carlos. Oh, arm lock hold. All over the ropes, though. Look at all the blood all over the ring. Oh, low blow there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Oklahoma slam. Oh, punts the legs out. Oh, and now to the knee. And this is illegal here. Come on now. Now he meets with Hangman. Goes back to the corner. Gets Will Stewart back in. Now they got him. Oh, assisted powerbomb to the world champ. And then follows up with a dropping fist. Misses the lariat and a chop. DDT to Stewart. Drop kick from Hangman. My goodness, he was losing so much blood, guys. This is the drop kick. Same with Davy Carlos as well. Oh my god, the torture rack! Torture rack to the world champ! Oh, and drops him around his knee. Puts him down. Oh, right to the. Oh! 
Just rubbing the bottom of his boot right over the eyes of Page. Hangel slam. Misses that punch. Tags in Davey. Now the arm lock hold on Will Stewart. Will he tap out? And broken up by Gilbert there. Gilbert has the champ. Angle slam to Davey now. Oh, and right outside the ring. Armstrong with the count. Carlos puts him down. Oh, double team move. Oh, right into the leg lock hole. Do not tap. Come on, kid. Hangman taking advantage of Gilbert now. Will Stewart tap, tap. He does not tap out. And now saving Gilbert. Nice move from Stewart. And now back into the leg lock hole. Here comes Gilbert trying to break it up. Oh, kicks him off. Drops the elbow. Deadlifting German. Elbow to the back now. Pinfall. One, two. Oh. Press slam. Puts him down. Deadlifting German. Davy puts him down. This is all over the place, guys. This is this is a war. Stewart and Gilbert are really establishing themselves here tonight. Gilbert in. Double drop kick. Oh my goodness, it will slam the exchange between Hangman and Gilbert. Oh, bang, just like that. Oh, nice lariat. Breaks the eyes. Gilbert is not back down. Oh my god. Writes a passage too. And he's not done. DDT. Picks him up. Oh, Lariat there. Has him. Writes of passage number one. One, two. Kicks out. Or breaks it out. That would have been it though. And now the airplane spin is broken up. Leg lock on Will Stewart. And now Gilbert's just beating the living crap out of Hangman Page now. My goodness, look at all the blood everywhere. I almost thought that was Hangman's blood for a moment. Oh, chopped to the throat. Puts him down. And Davey's the legal man. Oh, right into the leg lock hole. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Davey Carlos and Hangman Page win this match. But that was an instant classic. Gotta love it, guys. Gotta love it. More LDW action up next. Awesome match. Awesome, awesome match. All right, up next, we've got the number one contendership towards the DFW Junior Heavyweight Belt. Ricochet versus Owen Miller for the first time here on LDW. Here we go, guys. There he is, the one and only Ricochet, former LDW Tag Team Champion, former LDW Junior Heavyweight Champion, the first Junior Heavyweight Champion, one half of the first one of the first superstars here on LDW to hold the five star match. This is Ricochet, guys. And there he is, his opponent, who has a very, very bright future here in LDW. The Cinderella Man story type B, Owen Miller. Owen Miller, I've called like when I first saw his when I saw his first match here in LDW, I knew he was gonna make it to some heights. At some point, this guy's going to hold some gold. But this is another chance of the DFW Junior Heavyweight belt. Oh, going right to the back of Ricochet. But he's not in there with anyone to be taken lightly. This is the Ricochet, guys. Throws him over. If Owen Miller beats Ricochet in this match, that'll be big for his status here. And it'll definitely boost him to beat Jeff Bryan for that belt. Puts him down just like that. Oh, 
Oh, nice neck breaker there. Alright, attack in the back. Oh. Throws him in. Throws him over. Speaking of junior heavyweight belts, in our main event of the evening. Oh, nice lariat. Just did a whole 360 there. As I was saying, the LDW junior heavyweight title is on the line the main event as Charlie Arai has, has challenged Sick Nick to a two out of three falls match. And Sick Nick did accept, and that should be a great one to end our show, guys. Let's see who will be who will be the champion by the end of the evening. But back to this match. Oh, Lariat there from Owen Miller. Pinfall. One. Kick out. Owen Miller really taking advantage of this match. But we see like these new these new ones. This new generation of stars here on LDW. Oh, disrespectful. One. Kick out there. These new this new generation of stars here in LDW. They take advantage of these these OGs. And then the OG comes back and wins the match. Chokehold here being applied. Comes on Miller. PK. But one thing these the fans and myself even asked, like, when will we see some new people in the title picture? That's the point of more titles being established as we see also tonight the LDW Junior Heavyweight Bell. Oh, shotgun. Shotgun. Is that it? One. Two. Oh, almost had Ricochet there. As I was saying, the, the LDW Junior Heavyweight Tag Titles are on the line tonight. Who will be the first tag champs? Tessa Blanchard and Beretta or Jeff Bryan and Adam Davis? Our Junior Heavyweight Division is growing and growing, ladies and gentlemen. And it's just, it's such an exciting experience. And now we see a new tag team in, ta in the Heavyweight Division. Oh, one, two. Almost had Ricochet again there. Everybody's growing. LEW is growing. Our fan base is growing. Everything is going uphill, guys. Gotta love it. Speaking of things going uphill, I want to thank our sponsors here tonight. Const Constructora, uh, Salud Ble, Inspiration Sportswear, Danshi, Lit Cola, and Jumbo Mart. You guys are awesome. All right. Butterfly. Oh, beautiful bridge there. Oh, spinning back kick there. Kick to the back of Owen there. Oh, knee drop to follow up. Back kick again. Owen. Oh, nice Pele kick there. It's the back now. Comes Miller. Throws them in. Oh, puts him down with authority. Thomas Carey, side kick there. Elbow. Oh, backbreaker into a scoop slam. Now what? Has um. Oh, Death Valley Driver. Throws him in. Oh, belly to belly there. Nice forearm strikes there. Ricochet. What's he going to do here? Oh, nice springboard. Moonsault takes out Owen Miller. This is for the number one contendership at the DFW Junior Heavyweight title, guys. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And shotgun from Owen Miller. Come on, roll over, kid. Get him. Get him. Come on. One, two. Oh, he almost had him. That was about to be it, guys. Now, Death Valley drive over to Ricochet. Was going to go? Oh, he was going to set up for something there. Pele kick from Ricochet. The newcomer versus the legend. Oh, slap there. Snap suplex. Oh, 
Lock up here. Oh, falling clothesline. Ricochet is fired up. Owen needs to watch out for that 630 centon at some point. Oh, nice chest bump. One, two. Oh, almost had him again. Owen always does this, but can he pick up the big win here tonight? Gut check there to Owen Miller. Ricochet is exhausted, guys. Throws him in. Frankensteiner there. Oh, kick to the back. Neck breaker there. Oh, headbutt. A whole football takedown. Oh, was going for the Death Valley driver again. Combination of punches from Miller. Miller taking the advantage. Going off. Splash. One. Two. Oh, I thought that was it. Picks him up. The punch. The combination. They're going back and forth, guys. They want it bad. Spinning kick. Oh, and Miller back off. Lariat. Come on, Miller. Catch your breath. Falling clothesline. Kick to the back. Now what? Ricochet misses it. Throws him in. Back kick. Hooking the legs now. Kicks to the abdomen. Ripping out the core strength of Owen Miller here. Celtic Cross. Drags him. For a first timer, this is an awesome match. Celtic Cross again. Owen is exhausted. Has him. Here comes Ricochet. Flying clothesline to knock him down. Kick to the back to follow up. Owen keeps getting back up. Oh, gut check there. Now what? Owen trying to come back. He's got the fans behind him. Forearm strikes. Drags him. Going off. He's exhausted. Has him up. Oh, he's going to go for the shotgun, but Ricochet gets out of it. Elbow there. Forearm strikes. Come on, catch your breath, Owen. Lock up. Snap suplex from Ricochet. Owen and Ari back up. Farmers carry sidekick. Drags him. Going up. Wait a minute. He changed his mind. He thought, oh, he, he thought right. Owen's, oh man, the resiliency of Owen is amazing. What's he doing? Forearm strikes. What is Owen Miller going to do? Again with the forearm strikes. Farmers carry. Gut check there. What's he going to do? Kick to the back of the head. Flipping senton. And Owen's already back up. This man came here to fight. Frankensteiner drops him around right top of his head. Throws him in. Oh, puts him down. He is not done. Throws him in again. Now what? Frankensteiner again. He just wants to keep Owen Miller down. And Owen stands back up. This guy does not stop fighting. You gotta love it. Going up. 6.30. Oh, to the back of Owen Miller. Is this it for Owen in this match? One, two, three. Ricochet is your number one contender for the DFW Junior Heavyweight title. But valiant effort by Owen Miller. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Definitely the showstopper. Probably going to be the match of the night by the end of the evening. Let's move on. All right. And now, for the first time ever, 
protege versus instructor it's the two tag it's the tag team champions going at it Jamie Wilson versus Michael Elgin here we go guys look Jamie she's came into this alone then she tag team with like she lost her first match then she tagged me with Michael Elgin when he made his return to LDW and then they they tag team tour tour in the um, tag titles tournament and they managed to strive to strive through make it to the end and they were our first LDW tag team champions they've been tag teaming ever since then they lost the belts they still tag team together they won the number contenders match and then they won the belts back again and here they are the first time ever going at it here on LDW television this will be awesome guys here we go All over him. Those are in. Oh, nice scoop slam. Jamie already outside the ring. Elgin testing his student right now. Press slam. Puts her down. One thing I'll say Jamie, she's probably got a more impressive record than um, Michael Elgin, honestly. Because Elgin, when he first came to LDW, oh, when he first came to LDW, he was on a serious defeatable streak. And, um, I think his only prominent wins were on Tessa Blanchard that, that first season. Um, like Tessa Blanchard and somebody else, maybe in Jeff, maybe, oh, Tessa Blanchard and Ricochet. And then he had his LDW, he had three title opportunities at the LDW heavyweight belt. Could not pick up a win at all. And then he was suspended for problems with management. Is she opened up? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, she is opened up. Oh my goodness. Taking it to Jamie Wilson here in this match. Oh, she chops her master down. As I was saying, Michael Elgin... He came back during the second season. That's when he tag team with Jamie Wilson. And they've been tag teaming. They tag team through the second season, third season, and here in the fourth season. They are the tag team champions. But this is what in the world? This is getting brutal off the bat. And now a chokehold on Elgin. Again, a chokehold on Elgin. This is just a simple exhibition match between these two. Oh, elbow there. Also a first timer here as well. Press slam. Puts Jamie down. Oh my god. Release German and just throws her outside the ring. The strength of Elgin is ridiculous. But really showing a lot of brutality to... Oh, Larry there. Really showing some serious brutality towards his tag team partner. Oh. And that just, I think that just lit a fire in Jamie in this match. Oh, discus elbow. Now what? Press slam. Don't throw outside the ring again. Oh, all over the ropes. Put some in. Oh, whip some right at the top of the rope. Throws are in. Here comes Melgan. Oh, Lariat there. Pinfall. One, two, throw. That was almost it. Misses the football takedown. All the blood. We've never seen Jamie. One, two. Oh, we've never seen Jamie opened up before. So this has really got to catch her off, off guard. Completely. Oh, Lariat to the back of his head. Lock up here. Throws her in. Here comes Elgin. Lariat into the corner. Oh. Double axe handle to the back of Elgin. Pins him now. One, two, 
kick out by Elgin. Look at all the blood everywhere. Jamie, she has got to be winded. She's already usually winded in her matches. This is not helping her. Oh, discus elbow. Throws her in. Oh, Lariat there to Jamie. Pinfall. One, two, three. Oh, that was almost it, guys. Misses the discus elbow. Oh, elbows. Now gets the discus elbow in there. Going off. Lariat there. Throws him in. Look at her. She's almost out of this, man. Splash. One, two, three. Oh, almost had her master there. Here he goes with the Elgin Bomb. Oh, one. And she's out. That's it, guys. The master beats the protege. Congratulations to Michael Elgin. Someone please call the ring doctor because we need to check on Jamie after this match. And Elgin, he does not look very happy with what he just did, to be honest. That's his tag team partner. And his student. Oh, my goodness. But pretty good match, guys. Let's move on. All right. No more contenders match up next. Abdullah the Butcher has been on a pretty prominent winning streak as Stanley Adams is a former LEW heavyweight champion and now he's trying to make his way back up to the top let's see who will win this match to have the match with have a championship match with um, hangman page in uh, once we go back on our Mexico tour here we go up next guys with our semi cold main event And there he is, the innovator of ultra-violent wrestling, the legendary Abdullah the Butcher. Here in LDW, he has an exclusive contract where he's paid pretty high, and also in each match he wrestles, he um, every match he wrestles here on LDW television, he um, wrestles under hardcore rules, and everyone has to sign a waiver and be ready to wrestle him in that hardcore match and now here is a, a dirty player in the game Satan's general Stanley Adams my goodness guys this is gonna get hardcore this is gonna get bloody this isn't PG this is PG 14 enjoy guys elbows to the back of the head Oh, going on, going on him. Oh, drops the head. Throws him in. Oh, Adams shakes that off. Adams going for in on the big man. Abdul the Butcher has a win over Baron Charles on two occasions. One at Lions Roar 3 and just on our last episode defeated Michael Elgin. He's been on that three win streak. Even though he lost his first match here in LDW still is very well known and is very highly respected and has earned this opportunity in a number one contenders match Stanley Adams former LDW heavyweight champion on our last season defended the belt on five occasions until he faced um, Heyman Page at Lions Roar 3 and now here's it he won against um, Pentagon Jr. last show and now here he is facing Abdul the Butcher in this hardcore match to determine the number one contender for the heavyweight belt. Um, the heavyweight title will be on the line on our fifth episode of LDW. Maybe even our, um, excuse me, maybe, actually no, it will be contested on our sixth episode of LDW. So whoever wins here tonight will face him, Page, in Mexico through our climax episode for our first time in Mexico we, or first time we go international for our climax show chops there our last season we were very successful in Mexico and they really want us back happy to go back there again um, we've definitely got a treat for them we're gonna have on one show we're gonna have wait a minute double underhook oh yeah I'm doing the bush gets out of that 
Now the claw here. Our next show, the DFW, you know, the trios championship is on the line. Then the next show, the DFW junior heavyweight title is on the line. And then on our sixth episode, I'm, st I think, I feel like my math is wrong here. So wait, this is our sec, this is our second episode. Then there's the third one, then the fourth one, then the fifth one. So I'm, in, I'm incorrect, right? Now I think about it. Yes, I am incorrect. Unless we go on our tour on the third ep on the fourth and fifth and sixth episode, that could work. So being moved around now. Um, hold on, no big deal. Now with the fork here, the most brutal weapon here in LDW. Oh, headbutt there. My goodness. Oh, snap power bomb there. Strength of Adam's being shown here. He is livid after being opened up. Throws him in. Ooh, an elbow to Abdul the Butcher. Oh, right to the family jewels. Elbow there from Abby. Oof. Nice chop to the top of the forehead. And now try to go for a power bomb. Abdullah throws him off. Slice throat for what? What's he gonna do? Oh, look at all the blood everywhere. Headbutt to the back of Stanley's head. Oh, low blow there. Flipping senton. The athleticism of Stanley is amazing. Has him up. Suplex there, and the strength is amazing as well. He is exhausted. He's losing a lot of blood right now. Double underhook. Oh, suplex there. That's the thing about Abdul the Butcher. He gets his oh, opponent's bloodied up, beats the crap out of him, and then they just start to lose so much blood they get weakened. And that's what Abdul the Butcher just capitalizes on the moment. The only man that has defeated Abdul the Butcher so far since he joined LDW is Sick Nick Mondo. And that was just kind of an obvious situation there. If I won, two. Oh, almost had Adams there. That was an obvious situation. Two ultra-violent legends going at it for a dream match just to start off Abdullah's career here. And it did not upset anybody. Abdullah lost the match, but hey, it was a great match. Oh, reversal. Drops the body on top. Now biting at the wounds. Oh my goodness. Has got Adams here. Power bomb from Adams. Right there with the low blow again. Look at all the blood all over Stanley Adams right now. Headbutt there. Here comes Abby. Oh, drops the elbow. One, two, three. Abdullah the Butcher is your number one contender, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Simply wow. So now it's Abdullah the Butcher against Hangman Page for the world title in Mexico. Fantastic, fantastic match, guys. And now here we go with our cold main event of the evening. We are going to crown the first LDW Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Jeff Bryan and Adam guy's last name versus Tessa Blanchard and Beretta here we go guys up next what's his name Adam ain't no Adam Cole Adam Page no um what is his last name Adam something so Adam and Jeff Bryan I guess that's all I can call him and here we go guys there he is the double champ, the DFW Junior Heavyweight Champion slash one third of the trios champions here in LDW, Jeff Bryan versus and his tag team partner Adam something. All right, guys, co-main event of the evening. Will Jeff Bryan be a triple belt champ here tonight? 
their opponents, the newcomer Trent Beretta and the Queen, the legend, the legendary, <laughs> the legend, a legend of LDW, Tessa Blanchard. Two veterans of LDW really showcasing the new guys here in this junior heavyweight title match. And the veterans meet up to start off who will be the new LDW junior tag champions. Puts her down. Boston Crab here. Gets out of it. Jeff Bryan, his partner Adam, he's not in the best condition here tonight, guys. So that will be a conflicting factor here in this match. But we've seen how Jeff Bryan, he can definitely carry a match and pick up the win for the team. And that's really the whole tactic he's going to need in this match tonight. Speaking of the junior heavyweight division, just want to shout it out one more time. In our main event of the evening, it's Nick Mondo versus Charlie Arai in a two out of three falls match for the junior heavyweight, a LDW junior heavyweight title. That should be amazing, guys. Oh, going for the knees there. Tags an Adam. Elbow there. Oh, nice discus lariat. Roll up here. Oh. Takes them both down now. Double drop kick. Ashes her head in. Oh, this is eye poke there. Throws a mid. Oh, kicks him down. Oh, this gets lariat. For him to be in poor condition, he's really just hanging in there tonight. One thing with Trent Beretta, he's definitely got an injury as well. His neck is all over the place. Last time we saw these two meet up. It was at, it was at Lions Roar 3. And Trevor had picked up the win over Adam. Now let's see where things go here tonight. Those are men. Tessa in the way. Elbow there. Now, Brian tagged back in. Oh, double drop kick to Tessa. Takes them both down. Takes Tessa down right there. Elbows. Back and forth here. Oh, puts Tessa on her back. Right to that knee. Kick there. Pulls him in. Drop kick to the knees. Elbows there. Roll up. One, two. Oh, only gets a one count. Snap suplex from Tessa. To be honest, this is why I booked it for for um, the co main event. Listen to the fan reaction. Oh, double power bomb. That fan reaction is so weak right now. Boston Crab here. Now Beretta tagged in. Tessa and Adam going at it. Puts Adam off his feet. Roll up. Oh, guess not. Now we've talked about. I remember at the start of this tournament, it would have been legendary if um, Ricochet and Nick Mondo were to claim two tag belts here in LDW, but think about Tessa, she, if her and, her t and Beretta, if they win this match, Tessa will be the first woman to have held every tag team title here in LDW, which would be legendary for her. Now, when it comes to Jeff Bryan, if he wins, if this match ends with him as the winner with, with his tag team, he will be the first to ever hold three titles at the same time here in LDW. 
which will be amazing for him. Oh, nice kick there. Tags are in. Puts both of them down. Oh, Get out of that. Snap suplex. Throws him in. Oh, drop kick to the knees. Throws her in. Here comes Jeff Bryan. Oh, Superman punch. Roll up here. One, two, and Trent breaks it up. Kicks all over him now. Throws him in. Got Trent and Jeff go with that. Don't want the hook. Suplex there. And here comes... Oh, I thought Jeff was going to go for a move. Puts Adam down. Tessa dragging him now. Who will be our first junior heavyweight champ tag team champions? Takes Tessa out. Now Adam's out. Oh, kick to the back of his knee. Spinning clothesline. There he comes. A, a boot to the gut there. Knocks Trent down. One. Two, oh, only one count. The back and forth here. Oh, puts him down. Now here comes Beretta. Hasn't really been in this match so far. Nice chop there. Oh, puts him down, kicks him, and again, kicks him again. Not done with him, eye poke there. And now Beretta and Brian facing off here. Back suplex there. Tags in Tessa. Chop there. One thing to remind Jeff Bryan of, he's got two title defenses in Mexico. He's got to face Ricochet for the DFW Junior Heavyweight Belt and also has to defend the trio's titles with his team, Hangman Page and Davey Carlos. Nice kick out there. Into the gut. Throws him in. Has her. Oh, nice powerbomb there. Pay dirt. They're exhausted, guys. They all want it in that ring. And they lock up. Oh, elbows there. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. this is a war, guys. Now things are building up. Oh, Trent kicks him down. Double arm suplex from Tessa. And now the two newcomers going at it, Beretta and Adam Davis. Knee to the gut. Chop, 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 chop. Has him. Oh, low blow from Davis. One, two, kick out there. That's resiliency shown by Trent. One, two, oh. Now Jeff Bryan in. Over to the back there. Camel clutch to Trent Beretta. Oh my goodness. And now Beretta going to the corner. Tags in Tessa. Oh, kicks both of them off. Elbow there. Beretta going in. Kicks both of them off. Adam Davis really staying in this. Tags in Jeff Bryan. Kicks both of them off there. Lariat there. Those are in. Oh! Back kick there from Jeff. Here comes Jeff Bryan. 
a hole, 6.30, Moonsault one, and it's broken up by Beretta. Oh, jawbreaker there. Cutter. Oh, dude buster there. But he's not the legal man. And Jeff slips out of it and tags in Adam Davis. Assisted powerbomb to Tessa Blanchard. Neckbreaker there. If Adam hits that pedigree, it will be all over for Tessa. If Tessa hits the double arm DDT, it will be all over for Adam. Now what? Oh, needs the gut. Listen to the fans. They are ready to see the new and slash first junior heavyweight tag champs. Brain buster there from Adam. And Tessa just shakes it off and tries to get out of the area. Tags in Trent. Takes both of them off. Adam has the momentum. Low blow there. Tessa's still in it. Oh, brain buster to Tessa again. He's got a whole fisherman driver there. And now a stretch muffler. Will he tap? He does not as Tessa breaks it up. Tessa going in on him. Shakes both of them off. Here comes Jeff. Snap suplex there. Takes both of them off. Has them up. Oh, nice brain buster. Now Jeff Bryan, drop kick there. And now has um, oh, power driver there. Roll up. One, two, oh, breaks it up. Kick there. And now the back and forth between Trent Beretta and Jeff Bryan. Fired up. Lariat there puts down Jeff. And now Tessa, Adam tagged in. Everybody's in. Jeff kicks both of them down. Stretch muffler. But not to the legal man. Oh my goodness. I feel like. Oh man. I feel like Trent was just tapping just now, even though he was not in the match. Flips him over. Oh, fisherman driver. Adam is exhausted. Discus clothesline. Kick there. What did I say earlier? Pedigree. One, two, three. Oh my God. Jeff Bryan is now the first triple champ. And we've got new junior heavyweight tag team champions, guys. And that's Adam Davis and Jeff Bryan. Awesome. Simply awesome. The first junior heavyweight tag team champions have been crowned, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. More action in the junior heavyweight division in our main event of the evening. Charlie O'Reilly and Sick Nick Mondo in a two out of three falls match for the belt. Up next, guys. Here we go. There he is. Still a newcomer, but has made a serious impact here in LDW so far. This is the best friend, Charlie Arai. Charlie Arai was amazing at Lions Roar 3. Really put on a five-star performance facing off against Jeff Bryan for the DFW Junior Heavyweight Belt. Now has challenged the LDW Junior Heavyweight Champion, Sick Nick Mondo. Sick Nick has not defended the belt in a long time as he was focusing on the tag team division. Now here he gets, he's, here he is defending his belt here tonight in a two out of three falls match. We have not seen a two out of three falls match for the junior heavyweight belt at, since it really was created here in LDW. 
But this should be an entertaining match. Here we go, guys. Nick throws him in. Spinning neck breaker there. Puts him down with authority. Spinning back kick there. Throws him in. Oh, puts him down. Nice arm drag there. Kicks him down. I still can't get over it that Jeff Bryan is now a triple champ. The first triple champ in LDW, Jeff Bryan. The man that holds the DFW belt, the the yeah the DFW Junior Heavyweight belt, now the LDW Junior Tag Team belt, and the Trios belt all at the same time. This kid is a legend. Here comes Sick Nick. Oh, PK there. One thing awesome about these two, they both got a martial arts background in them. They both can go toe to toe for probably a whole hour if you let them. This is gonna. This is already starting off awesome. Look at these nasty elbow strikes there. Charlie Wright trained in MMA. Oh, mixes MMA with his wrestling style. Highly athletic individual one. Don't ever expect him to pick up a weapon or even go for a pinfall. This guy is a submission expert. Knowing Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. Signic Mondo, known for his time in CZW. As an ultra violent legend. And here he is in LDW with his accolades as a former LDW tag team champion and the current LDW Junior Heavyweight champion, defending it here tonight. This is an exciting, this is just an awesome matchup here, guys. But once again, just, uh, just in case if I didn't mention it, I want to thank our sponsors here. Construct, Constructora, Salud, Saludable, uh, Inspiration in Sportswear, Don Shi, Lit Cola, and Jumbo Mart. You guys have been awesome as you guys are our sponsors here on Season 4 of LDW. Fifth all, one, two, oh, we only get some one count. Let's see who wins the first fall, guys. Will it be Charlie or Sick Nick? One, two, oh, kick out there. Oh, elbow there. Has him up, suplex, oh, puts him down. DDT there. Spinning kick. Misses that kick there. Oh. Now into the arm bar here. All over the ropes though. Slams him down. Elbow right to the mouth. Charlie and now with the oh roll up here one two oh Nick almost got the first fall there slice in the throat what's he gonna do now oh kick to the back of his head oh Larry there DDT Hurricane Rana. Fans are starting to wake up, guys. Release. Burning Hammer puts Charlie down and does not finish him off there. He just wants to attack the legs. Very nicely done from Sick Nick Mondo. One thing to be advised of, though, Charlie is a submission expert and a striker. If all one. Two, 
Oh, almost had him. One thing to say, Charlie Wright, he's a submission expert and striker, but Signamondo is just down like crazy. Oh my goodness, release Burning Hammer. Does he get the first fall? One, two. Oh, almost had him. Puts him down. Release Burning Hammer. Oh. Not. Oh my goodness. Charlie is so perseverant. All over the ropes, Nick. Hurricane Runner. And now into the Cloverleaf that has won Nick Mondo many matchups in the past. Oh. This is that kick. Oh. Nice punches there. Did, oh, Larry there. And now charging his chi energy. Oh, spinning kick. That's what he was charging up for. Nick Mondo is like a whole Dragon Ball Z fighter. Throws him in. As him. Oh, now Charlie got him. Here comes Charlie. Oh, back elbow. The exchange. Back and forth. Back and forth. This is our main event, guys, for the child. And here comes Charlie with the discus lariat. Our main event for the junior heavyweight belt. These two men are putting in blood, sweat, and tears here tonight. One trying to defend it. One trying to just win it. This is awesome, guys. Now sick Nick with a weapon. Throws him back in. Now with the light tube. Come on, Nick. Don't be don't play dirty tonight. Oh, elbow to the back there. Scoop slam. Oh, nice punches there. Spinning back kick. Oh, nice lariat. There he goes. Oh, spinning back kick again. Punches. Oh, discus punch. Throws him in. Oh, puts him down. Just like that, guys. Arm drag. The variety of kicks of Mondo. Now going for the legs. Misses the kick. Puts him down. Throws him in. Oh, headbutt there. And now with the Brain Buster. It's a sick Nick Mondo. Pinfall one, two. Three, he wins the first fall. We usually don't. Well, congratulations to Charlie Ride winning the first fall. Moving on to the second one now. What's going on outside? That thunderstorm is getting bad out there. Oh, wow. Anyways. Oh, my God. Sick Nick with the release burning just like just like that. And now a Kamagoye. Wasting no time. Oh. Modified Dominator. Chokehold. Chokehold here. Does he win the second fall just like that? Those are men. 
Oh, nice tilt whirl. I tilt whirl. Uh, head scissors. Nick throws them in. Oh, Charlie puts them down. Put it in the history books. Charlie has pinned Sick Nick Mondo here tonight. Oh, kicks him down. And now a Celtic cross. Now one thing, Charlie pinned him. We have not seen Charlie pin anybody here. He's just submitted people. Now, oh, nice. One, two. Fear on the ropes. What in the world? Well, Sick Nick wins the second fall, guys. Moving on. Feet were all over the ropes, but let's go ahead and move on to our to the third fall. All right, guys. Charlie has one. Sick Nick has one. Here we go. Oh, brain buster doing. Pinfall. One, two, three. Oh, what the hell? That had to be the quickest match in LDW history. Sick Nick Mondo is still your LDW Junior Heavyweight Champion. But believe me when I say this, if this was a one contest match, Charlie or I would have beaten Sick Nick Mondo to start us off. But congratulations to Sick Nick Mondo on defending his championship. What in the world? All right, guys. New champions. Luckily, he got lucky to defend that belt. Um. On the way out, I'm gonna discuss my plans for the next episodes. Wait, Charlie has been hospitalized with an injury, and he's they need two off to recover. That's two off. I guess they're saying two, two shows off. That's okay. Congrats on running a flawless show. Okay. So to discuss as I'm on my way out, out the video right now, um, our profit's gone up. Everything's gone up. I love it. But so on our next show, we will go to Mexico. Or, hmm. I'm debating like maybe a cross promotional event. I um, may may do that. I don't know. Maybe not. It expired. Koi Chiro in Japan. Jamie and Will have been feuding for a while now, but okay. Will who? Will Stewart. Okay, that can work. We can do that match. She needs a match anyway at the next show. So no big deal. Um. What was I going to say? So, our next show. Uh huh. So, next show is either we can do a cross promotion event or we can go ahead and start the Mexico tour. I really want to do the Mexico tour again. Hmm. We could do the Mexico tour. You know, just stay consistent with that. Yeah, we can just do that. Go ahead and go to Mexico do our tour then at our climax episode we do the cross promotion event so that should be cool um kaichiro i think that's what they said kaichiro kaichiro all right i didn't read where they said it was crap Mmm. Unless, unless they have the first name. Kaichiro, Kaichiro. Okay, clearly there. Okay. I didn't catch where they are. I could have sworn I said Japan. Let me go back. 
I'm gonna go in the video and see what it said. Let me see. Um, let's go back. Oh, okay, you can hear my voice on the video. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's go back. Uh huh. Let's back it up. Back it up. Mm hmm. There's the finish for the main event. Crap. Ooh. All right, let's go back. Come on. I think I sped through all this. I ain't gonna keep wasting too much time, guys. Just give me a chance. I just want to see who this was and where are they at, so we can see if we can sign them. DFW Sky Ricardo. Our broadcast contract has expired. In Japan. Oh, Koich, Koichiro. In Japan. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he looks interesting. 19 years old? No big deal, but... Wow. Welcome in. What? You're an idiot for that one, man. Yeah, that ain't no big deal. We're gonna sign more people. 19 year old. Anyways, let's go ahead and handle the management stuff. I'm gonna do this on every ending of the episodes. Just do the management stuff. So, and talk some business as I'm sitting here. So yeah, with the future of LDW, I'm trying to push towards dividing up the people into their weight divisions, and they only wrestle in their classes. And don't mix it up too much. Maybe here and there. I'm not fully trying to be like New Japan because I still want singles matches, you know. It's like a mixture of everybody, but dividing it into different weight classes, like I said. So we'll see, guys. We'll see how things shake out. I'm about to go all out with this photo collection. Same thing. These things are selling like crazy. So, so, so 5,000 there too. We can try 3,000 just to try it. These really aren't selling. Got it 3,000. All right, we're good. Um, what's going on with the broadcast contract? That started right. Yep, nine months, and on our next episode will be third episode. So it'll probably be over by. By the time we get to Lions Roar 4, we'll, let's hope that we get another broadcaster contract, which most likely we will. Um, how's everybody doing? I know that, what's his name, Charlie, he's injured after his match. He's going to be off for the majority of the Mexico tour. He'll probably be back by the world championship time. Um, and we'll probably come up with something big for his return. Beretta, um, he may need he may need some time off for at least one show. Um, a lot of people, look at him, the triple belt champ. That's crazy. That take a picture of that. Look at him. But next show, the trios belts are on the line. Um, mystery tag team. I'll reveal once I book it. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, everybody else is fine. Charlie just definitely needs the night off. Yeah. But, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Let me save my progress before I forget. Kind of like going back to my roots here. You know, when I used to always save the stuff before I ended the episode. But, this, uh, those episodes are not as long as these. Um, but... Thank you guys for watching. I've been your host, George Harris King. This has been episode number two. See you guys on number three. Bye-bye.